once more the Pac-12, well represented in the national rankings. You can see Utah leading the way at number three, UCLA getting set to take on Utah in a couple weeks. It saw Lake go back to last year when they had that epic meet. Both teams breaking 198. California matched up with Arizona today in Tucson. Elon Clossy, W. D'Souza, the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year a season ago, taking on a vastly improved Arizona team. And once more, we're going to bring you the best moments from our sports here on Pac-12 Networks. Coming up, Oregon State and Washington challenging year for the Jim Dogs as Elise Ray Stats decided to focus on family and left the program. Oregon State getting a lot of exposure as they'll take on Arizona. UCLA hoping that Nia Dennis can continue to break the internet with her viral routines on floor. And we have a great deal of empathy for Tabitha Yim and what's happening at Stanford because being positioned in Santa Clara County, they couldn't get indoors for weeks. They've already postponed their scheduled meet against Utah next week. Here in Tempe, there have been a slew of tremendous moments, and we're only halfway through this one. And Arizona State on top by .025 on B. Sun Devils, number 17 in the nation. It's their second best event. They average a 48-83. Megan Thompson, the former walk-on, who's been awarded with the scholarship. Junior from Gilbert, Arizona, came back home to finish her career after transferring from Nebraska, competing for the only time today. She's been in this leadoff spot, which is very important on this event. Her first test right here, triple series. Two back handsprings to let that step out. A little balance check, but settled in. You can see her kind of pause there for a minute because now she's got to regroup, be aggressive on every skill that follows. You'll see the gymnast performing a variety of elements, the tumbling series that are required, as well as the leaps jumps. The favorite full turn, it looks easy, but sometimes the most challenging. Of course, they're also trying to connect elements for those bonus points. Finishing with a combination dismount side aerial to that full twist. So she had that slight balance check early on, but did a nice job of recovering. Should Overall, still be a good score. Getting the most out of her only routine. Went 9825 last week against Oregon State career high. Hanging in there, 985 against BYU. You can see Jess Santos noticing she was moving down the beam a little crooked and was leaning the way that she needed to lean to save it. Well, it worked. She stayed on the beam. Utah getting set to start on floor. Happy Paulson went 985 on bars. Sophomore from Minnesota. Equal the career high on floor with a 9-9 last week against Washington to win the event title. Abby is a very dramatic dancer. You'll see that throughout this routine. And facial expressions. She starts with her first tumbling pass combination. Beautiful form, front layout, front full. Immediately connected to that stag jump. This particular music is from Cirque. Two and a half twists, stepped out of bounds. I saw her perform this routine just a few weeks ago and she was in great control on that pass. But the two and a half twist can be challenging. Stepping out of bounds is one tenth of a deduction. Lots to like about that routine. We'll see Abby 
wrap up her competition day on beam utah number four in the nation here on floor yeah this two and a half twist she got too much rotation she needs to lower the set a hair more but honestly if she was straight in the diagonal i think she would have stepped straight forward and stayed in but unfortunately for this routine today she gets that one tenth deduction for touching the white thompson a 9-8 flat in her only routine today jada Mangahas went 9-8-5 on vault here on beam just her second routine in her freshman year beg your pardon her third 9775 against ucla 9-7 last week Earlier, we talked about this beam team putting pressure on UCLA. They finished on the balance beam, and it was a close competition. Definitely a boost of confidence for this team to be able to put pressure on a team like UCLA on the balance beam. A little off there in her tumbling series, back handspring layout, step out. Did a great job of not turning that into a fall, though. Remember, the balance beam's only four inches wide, so there's really no room for error. The best beam workers figure out how to hide when they're crooked and basically not show a wobble. This is becoming a very popular college dismount. The side aerial full twist. Years ago, it was the gainer off the side. We still see those, but this is definitely the most popular dismount of choice. But here's where the stumble happened right there. Leaned completely to the left, but was able to hold on. Dismounting, side aerial to the full twist. I think it's the most popular because of that. It's the easiest dismount to stick. Jada, showing her tenacity, navigating the treacherous beam. See her next on floor, where Utah is getting set for their second routine. Potentially looking to drop that 9-7 from Paulson. First time today a chance to spotlight adrian randall the junior from corona in southern california career high 995 coming off a 98 last week against washington also performing to dramatic music she is a very powerful tumbler so really brought that whole feel into the choreography Opening with the double tuck. In years past, we've seen her open with an upgraded tumbling pass with the full in. Not a requirement, but something she may add in later in the season. Nice flexibility and control on that lead pass. Floor exercise, definitely the most challenging event in competition when not performing, performing in front of fans. You still got to draw in the judges. Got to create that energy on this event. to finish it out. Back one and a half to that front layout. You'll see every gymnast hold up the U at some point in their choreography right there. It's all about the U. We know <laughs> that in Salt Lake City. Adrian, before she took her talents to Utah, two-time California state champion on floor. She almost overshot that one and a half twist a little bit, but did a great job holding on to that landing there in the front layout. She got beam coming up. Mega House, 975. Reese Reeves put up that number, 975 on bars. Here on beam, match the personal best with a 985 against BYU. 9725 will be the go. Another triple series. It looked like she was a little crooked going down the beam, but that's what I'm talking about. She did the layout step out. You had no idea because she was able to correct it. Stay centered over the beam. A little 
little bobble there in the landing of her split jump. Drop back, catches you off guard a little bit. You most often see them doing a backhand spring or a back flip, so when she drops to her upper back, that creativity, though, is what makes her stand out. It's a great routine. Little step there on the dismount. And it's nice to have a semblance of normalcy today with the family and friends permitted to cheer on these gymnasts. Here's her tumbling series. It looked like she was starting to lean a little bit to the left, but by the time she got there on the landing, she was able to center it up. Finished with that round back one and a half twist. Took that step back, but another hit routine for Arizona State. And another chance to contribute on floor coming up. On a 2-5 for Randall with her first routine this afternoon. Stano was superior on vault, 9-8-7-5. Freshman from Great Britain. Came in fourth in the all-around of the 2018 British Championships. Season high on floor, 985 is the best of Utah feet. Her routine is a remix of Pink Panther. But don't be fooled because lots of difficulty like that. in with a lot of experience and a lot of tricks but when it comes to college gymnastics it's about finding the elements that you can perform consistently week after week and be clean because this team is looking for those nine nines or better really on all four events finish for Lucy. Reason for that big smile at the finish. Second tumbling pass right here. Nice easy double tuck. And finished with the combination pass, which is a requirement. It's called a double salto pass. They have, to have two flips connected. So you'll see a variety of passes, but somewhere in the routine they have to have those elements connected. Scheduled to make her beam. Debut coming up in the final rotation. 9775 for Reeves. Third and final performance for Emily White. 98 bars, 9825 to start her competitive day of vault. She has really nice movement on this event. Smooth choreography as she transitions right into those elements. Perfect back hand from layout. Step out. Almost floated into the landing. Slide aerial. Nice job staying in control as she moved into that combination. in that routine, it's still going to be a great score. But if she can stick that layout full, that notches her into a 9-9 or better. Right here, as she landed, she just needed to bend her knees just a hair more, absorb that landing. It still could be close. 
Personal best for Emily, 985 against UCLA. Should be in the vicinity today. Stanhope, glittering number, 9875. Jaden Rucker back at her home seat of Arizona, second and final routine. 9875 of vaults. Just come all the way back from a knee injury suffered as a club gymnast. This year, nothing lower than a 985. Big full twisting double back to start that routine. She makes it look so easy. You can hear some fans joining in as well as the team. If this place was packed, everybody would be clapping with this routine. It's such a fun one to watch. High energy. There's a lot of smiling throughout. Another trend in college gymnastics you're seeing is less tumbling. If they can have those e-passes like Jaden did in the opening tumbling pass, quite often we'll only see two tumbling passes, a little more dance, choreography. So this will be her final tumbling pass. Combination to finish it, front layout, front full. Nice routine. Well, after Stano put up a season I, 9875, it's Rucker building on that. This full twisting double back. I mean, she does it in a completely open position, never grabs her legs. That is how quick she is, how high she is. And then it comes back with just a second tumbling pass, that combination that's required front layout to a front full. Utah's been mixing and matching on the floor. They have so much talent. Still nothing lower than a 49 3 this year. Another good number for Arizona State. White, 9825 with the slight miscue at the end. Sarah Clark next up on beam for Arizona State. Well, she put up their best score in this event against BYU. A 9-9 highest tally for Arizona State on beam in 13 years. Difficult triple series there. We've seen two so far with two backhand springs and one layout. That one backhand spring to the two layouts and perfect form throughout. Spring, one and a half twist, little lean back on her heels, another incredible routine, very little deduction throughout, just on that landing. Been a positive day for Sarah Clark, went 9-9 nine, nine on bars. Right here, these two layouts, your feet have to be in perfect position. Very nice, and then finish with the one and a half twist. When she lands though, you'll see she leaned back on her heels, so not quite able to hold on to a perfect landing, but very small deduction. 9-9 nine, nine for Rucker. Certainly a score that Miley O'Keefe is capable of. 9-9 nine, nine on the table, 9-8-2-5 on bars. Here on floor, career best is indeed a 9-9. Nine, nine. Coming in the season opener, she won the event title, 9-8-2-5 a week ago. double pike, popping right to that lunge. You can see really just on a mission to fight for every detail. But what makes Miley stand out is her artistry, her quality of movement. You can see it all the way down to her fingertips. She has a position for every pose throughout this routine. Nice combination there on the second tumbling pass. Her flexibility, she almost goes past the 180 degrees required in those leaps. Last 
week. She earned that 9825. This score should be better. And a reminder, potentially the best is still yet to come for Miley O'Keefe. As she put up a perfect 10 on beam a week ago. Right here, the opening tumbling pass, double pike, perfect in the air, pops right to the lunge, and you can see she's fighting with everything to make that lunge look perfect. She wants a 10 on floor two. That's the mindset of a champion. 9-8-5 for floor. Arizona State in position, potentially to drop a 9-7-5 from Mangahas. Sharp continues in the all around, 9-8-7-5 bar, 9-9 on the table. But still the good news for Arizona State, they've walked in, I believe, at least a 49 already on this event. Unique double wolf turn to start the routine. Big smile there on the landing of that backhand spring layout. She really had nice amplitude, knee up in the air on the flip. Oh, side semi. Hung in there. Yeah. Those can be challenging landing in that side position, but unfortunately, again, if you would lean back on those heels, which is what started to happen, those legs kick up in the air. Should probably get a one to two tenth deduction. But better than the five tenths you would get if she fell off the beam. they were hoping to knock out was a 975. That's going to be close. She had that major bounce check and a step on the landing, but still six for six on the balance beam. That is always a positive. Right here at the side semi, there's those heels leaning back. She did a nice job though holding on and then finished with that one and a half twist. We talked about it on Fulton Bars. What was so impressive is they were sticking every landing. They need to bring that to the balance beam, too. Sharp with back-to-back 9-8-5s -back the last two weeks. We'll see how the judges evaluate today's effort. Miley, a 9 thank you very much. New career high. And now a chance to appreciate one of the best in the nation on the floor. Cindy Zolowski, the senior from Calgary, competing for the only time today. She can be spectacular as she was last week. 9 9 Watch this first pass. Huge high flying double layout. Yeah, 9975 means one judge gave her a perfect 10. So that is ultimately the goal for her. to watch on this event. This year's music, a different style for her. The powerful tumbling, though, and dynamic dancing always makes for a great combination. Solaski demonstrating the form that has made her a second team All-American on floor twice in her outstanding career. So powerful. She opened with a huge double layout, then came back with this strong combination front layout to her front full twist. And then another combination to finish it out. One and a half twist, opens those arms and gets great amplitude on that front layout. We can let you know that Hannah Scharf got a 9.775 on beam. Arizona State can drop the 9.75. This one remains highly competitive at Arizona State. 